Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 4 in the Modern Times Campaign. Right, on to mission number 10. The show must go on. The Conclave may have brainwashed Donald Pinch, but they did not eradicate all of his memories. He was able to recall the final stage of the Conclave's latest plan. They are going to use telecommunications to plant subliminal messages in the world's population and thus take over the world. There is only one way to stop them. Build a bigger and better service. With the help of Mr. Pinch, I will establish the largest telecom company in the world and steal the Conclave's entire customer base. So... El Presidente AT&T. Uh, that was awful. Oh well, what would be a good thing? Well, let's be all business. Alright. Well will obviously not be a farmer for this particular thing. Is he born in the purple? Nah. Developer. Kinda neat. Something perhaps more in line with business. Let's see. Oil tycoon? Uh, nah. Professor. Secret agent? No. A uh, self-made man. I'll of course be elected as a as a capitalist. Of course. All right, administrator. I like. It's just good enough. Uh, entrepreneurial is nice, but not necessary. Uh, well, let's be a financial genius. There's no need to uh, cuddle the uh, three huggers this time around. Um, nah. Something more in line with the goal, actually, for being uh, business like. Let's see. Mm, what would be good? Well, I'm going to set up a telecom company. Let's have a multiple personality disorder. Right, let's go. The Conclave will pay for what they have done to me. No one can brainwash Donald Pinch and get away with it. Look, mate. We must beat the Conclave at its own game. Together we can build the largest two telecommunications empire in the world and put the Conclave's drone girls out of business. First, we must establish a solid education system on the island. We need to, we need many smart caps in order to complete this high-tech communication sector. All right, so hire ten high school teachers. That's that's gonna be tricky. All right, let's have a look at the island. All right, so thankfully I remembered to look up the uh, resolution settings for this uh, game. It's being a little bit finicky. All right, let's not zoom out too far then. All right, so there's almost no room for corn farming, banana farming, papaya farming, pineapple farming, coffee farming, t uh, tobacco farming, or sugar farming. Swell. Now I have already recognized this island. They've moved the dock, but you can't hide the fact that I've already been on this island, so I know there's probably lots of small deposits everywhere. There's one gold. There's no salt. There's two oil deposits on land. And they're all around the volcano. Of course they are. Alright. There is room for logging, but not that much. 
and most of the pasture land is up here. So right, so if I'm gonna be building my own food, I'm gonna have to do it up here. We're living in the year 1980, so the timeline gives us. I think most of the important stuff is unlocked. Yeah. Let's see. Now I need to build a telecommunications uh, building, which is where is that? That's under. Uh, where would that be? A sanatorium. It's not a business center. Now where did I see it? Attraction and no. No. No, that's in fear aging. I know. I yep, it's probably unlocked, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right, I have fifty people, which is bugger all. But we'll soldier on. All right, we have one tenement. How gracious! Let's find a way to make something out of this. All right. I need a room. That's not a good start. But I do want to be self-reliant. So I'll just get the farms going that way. Alright, we already have a okay. fish farm, which is nice. Alright, let's set up the government. A foreign office. A ministry. Oh, I didn't check, actually. Um, is there any beauty on this island? Yeah, the island is apparently quite beautiful. I might want to consider some tourism. Alright, Volcano Danger Zone is pretty much the entire build area. And of course, the tsunamis can also wash through here quite nicely. Nice enough that a model actually hails in the way, but I don't think that will protect me very much. No. Alright, uh, I need some basic income, so what gives me the most? Let's see, bauxite is quite good. Coffee is average. Uh, let's start with just gold. Gold will do nicely. See, bananas are now not really useful. Let's see, tobacco, that's tea. Nah, kinda average. Mm, lumber is quite good, nice. For what it costs. Yeah, canned goods are a little bit on the low side, I feel. Probably good enough, but for the setup I need for that. Let's see. Yeah. Furniture is okay-ish. Alright. Llama hole is on the low side. Oof. Jewelry is barely worth anything. Alright, so let's let's try to set up at least some borehole mines to tide me over until I'm ready for anything else. And let's set up some infrastructure over this way. Actually, let's build the bio farms first. Alright. Let's build some corn. And. And just let the game go now. So they can do everything else. Right, so what's the average pay for the Caribbean? Eight. I blame global warming. I knew it. Now if I want to get my people to work harder, I need to get my average pay off above the Caribbean average pay. Or at the very least the low paying jobs above that. 
I rarely ever raise the level of uh, pay for my college-educated people, but well, yeah. They are overpaid as it is. Alright. I need to wait for some money before I can do anything else. So let's wait on some money. Alright, let's focus on getting the uh, that going. The farms can wait for a little bit. And of course the foreign office. Alright. Can I get a foreign affairs? No, of course not. Education? Nope. Do I have any educated people on the island? A few. Well, enough to start a school. But I need two high schools in order to get uh, enough for this. Since each high school can only employ six. But that's a little ways off. First, let's get an economy going. Then we'll worry about the rest. Freighter is approaching the dock. Well, I'm not gonna have much. Let's see. There's some bauxite here, here, and over there. Mm, these might be close enough, but I don't think so. Seven new immigrants, that's fine. Right, so if I wanted to go for the agriculture, tobaccos, nothing is really valuable. I mean, it'll all make money, but it's not valuable. I think that's deliberate, but until I can find where they actually hit that building. That's an office building. It can't be an office building. Uh, well, I'll focus on that when I have some people to do the work. All right, we've got the metro station. That's nice, but totally useless to me. All right, we got some money. Let's get some bauxite coming in. All right, can I get both? Nope. All right, then. We'll just stick with this one. And the iron, I'll save until another time, until we get, until we are ready to build cars. Which will not be for a while. Right now I just want uh, all this to level up. Get some basic money coming in. And we'll also have to prepare for the inevitable act, uh, eruption. Alright, come on, stop making me some money. Alright, six more immigrants, that's fine. Alright, entertainment. A pub. And preferably something that doesn't cost any high level high any people. That I can't really spare from the worker pool yet. Right. See? Level. This is going to take a while. Hmm. Right, this mine is almost finished. Now, I'm also going to set up a logging industry. 
Where's the density at height, the highest? I probably want to do it up here somewhere. At least that way it would be marginally safer from the uh, inevitable tsunami that's coming. Any shack. Yes, 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 I know. Not quite interested in hiring someone not useful for the job. You know, just have to make sure that I have enough people working in the right place. get started on that. Mm, I could probably hire one of these. You'll do. And of course one of you will do on this. Uh, you're the best. Which isn't saying all that much. But hey, it unlocked some edicts. Uh, building permit is a little bit early for that. Let's focus on getting our supplies in going. I need to get the people happy. So let's get some basic stuff going, like humanitarian aid. Alright, that should get some people uh, happy. This is not an awful start. I mean, we get a free power plant, that's always nice. Plenty of money. Just need someone for this office. So, one of you, please. 6% and you See? are... Four percent. What do you want? What if I come talk to you ladies a bit? All right, let's get a few workers, and I'll put down another tenement, even though it's not really beneficial to me to do it right now. In modern times, I can't really do anything else. That's fine. For now, that's fine. Alright, these are starting to get built. I suppose I should build up a water treatment plant. Yeah, just to keep the people happy. the childhood museum because that's usually a good way to get people entertained but that would require me shuffling someone out of the uh, worker pool that's something I don't need just yet all right here's some foreign experts Never let's go have a talk to the ladies in Excelencia. All right. Uh huh. You're new. See. Si. Well, it's going well enough.
people aren't too dissatisfied. But that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.